Hi, I'm, I'm Simon from La Casita, and tonight we're going to read Little Bear's Big Jumper by David Bedford and Caroline Pedler. Big Bear loved his stripy jumper. It was warm, it was soft, and it was his favourite. But it was getting harder and harder to put on. It's too small for you, said Little Bear, giggling. It's not, said Big Bear. It fits just right. Mum laughed. I think it's time we knitted you a new jumper. Big Bear, why don't you give that one to your brother? But it's too big for him, said Big Bear. No, it's not, said Little Bear. He pulled it quickly over his head. It fits just right. You'd better look after it, said Big Bear. It's my favourite jumper ever. I will, said Little Bear happily. It's my favourite ever too. Off they ran together to play. Now I look just like you, cried Little Bear. Big Bear gave his brother a, big, a piggyback through the tall grass. Little Bear chuckled as he was jiggled about. The two brothers jumped through the puddles with a splish, splash, splosh. This is fun, said Big Bear. Then Big Bear climbed along a high branch. I'm climbing too, said Little Bear. You're pulling me down, cried his brother. Get off. I can't wibble wobble like you, said Little Bear. Stop it, said Big Bear. You're wobbling too much. And suddenly, crack, went the big log as it split in two. Splosh, went the bears as they landed in a muddy puddle. Look what you've done, yelled Big Bear. You've broken the wobbly log and you've made a mess of my jumper. Little Bear looked down at him the, and the, the soggy jumper. His lip began to tremble. I'm sorry, he said, and he ran away into the woods. Good then, said Big Bear grumpily. It's better playing on my own. Big Bear slid down the slippery, slidey slope. He chased the butterfly until it, he was dizzy. Then he sat on the end of the seesaw, but with only one bear, it wouldn't go up and down. Playing is no fun without Little Bear, he thought, and he began to feel very lonely. Where are you, Little Bear? Oh no, he's on his own. Big Bear searched the, the, um, searched the places Little Bear liked the most. He looked everywhere. But he wasn't in the hollow honey tree or in the den in the bush. He wasn't even hiding under the big rock. Little Bear wasn't anywhere. Where could he have got to? All on his own. Suddenly, Big Bear saw a woolly thread. So he followed it quickly through the trees, round a bush and deeper and deeper into the woods until at last he found a very sad and lonely little bear. I've ruined our favourite jumper, ever jumper, little bear cried when he saw him. Big Bear gave his brother a big hug. Don't worry, he said kindly. It's only a jumper. I'm sorry I shouted at you. It's all right, little bear sniffled, sniffed. I shouldn't have run off without you. Big Bear took him by the hand. Let's go home, he said. On the way back, Big Bear wrapped up all the wool into a ball. We had a little accident, he told Mum when they got home. Poor little bear, said Mum. Don't worry, I know just what to do. The very next morning, Big Bear and Little Bear had the best surprise. Two brand new matching stripy jumpers. Now I can be just like you, Little Bear, said uh, Big Bear. You're the best brother ever.